Oh, how much work about the spinning circle on the top? Yeah, no, don't worry about the spinning circle on the top. All right. Don't ever worry about the spinning circle. Don't ever press the red button. Now I want to press the red button. No, you can't. <sighs> Welcome. Can you hear me? Welcome to another episode of the Nick and Dan Show. It's our mid-season finale. Woo! And Dan? Yes, sir. It's been a time of endings. This isn't the end, end, but... It's the end. Carry on my wayward son. There'll be peace when you are done. Lay your weary head to rest. And don't you cry no more. Once I wrote your book, the noise and confusion. Just again, just a high disillusion. How soaring ever high am. Too high. Oh, my eyes can see I still was a blind man. Oh, my mind can think I still was a mad man. I hear the voices in a craving. I can hear them say, Carry on my way, you are the sun. There'll be peace when you are done. There you will be had to rest. Don't you cry no more. Oh, that's a rage against a man with a reason. That's a rage against a man with a reason. If I say to be a wise man. Tune last note vocalists. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's a good family. Yeah. How about Hitler's family? No. Yeah, fuck Hitler's family. Hitler's family, this isn't for fucking what you. What the fuck is wrong with you? A lot. <laughs> we'll be right back. Hey, rats, before we continue, just want to remind you to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications. That way, you keep up to date with all the cool new videos coming out weekly from X and Priory. Foam got wet. Foam and beard. So you're saying you, so you're saying you don't want the fifth damage? I don't want. Why are you so much taller than me all of a sudden? I don't know. Hang on. Hi. Ooh, nice. All right. Let me bring myself down to your level. Wow. <laughs> just my, just a day of continuing to throw daggers. That's how it's been all day. Welcome to another episode of the Nick and Dan Show. Hi, Dan. Hi, buddy. Or is it Samuel this week? Uh, given circumstances and that. I, I understand completely. I do. Yeah. So, guys, it's obviously the mid-season finale, and it's, we're going to be back eventually. It's Dakota, though. It is Dakota. Okay, Dakota. No, actually, no. Nope, sorry. No? Yeah, I can't do it. I feel it in my heart. I can't. 
can't have that happen. Not right. Dakotas. I understand. I do. I get you, buddy. Fuck the Dakotas. North and <laughs> South. Damn. Yeah. Brutal. All right, so you're out to piss people off this week. I guess so. I'm okay with that. But seriously, mid-season finale. We'll be back in, I don't know, January. Yeah, after the holidays, shit comes down. Right. You know, we're just going to relax, enjoy ourselves, and... Pretend to plan for more episodes, and we don't really plan. I'm going to enjoy beers that aren't booby trapped. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not going to let that happen. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> but anyway, um, speaking of finales, obviously you might have caught the song before that. I don't know why you would fast forward through that to this, so they had to have seen it. It was pure gold. It was. Supernatural ended this week. I'm heartbroken. Mm-hmm. I've been watching that show 15 years. But before we dive in, I do got to give a shout-out. So, shout-out to Stupid 5 Pin, who commented on last week's video and called us out for not talking about one of our fellow co-hosts. Which is? Think so, Joe. You're right. Fuck, we fucked up. I mean, that's the thing. You know, we drink a lot. Season 2, mostly drunk. You know, things get forgotten. Uh-huh. And... You know, we don't really plan. We kind of talked about that in last week's episode, so things get left out. Now, in our defense, not saying an ex- it's an excuse, it is what it is. A lot of Think So Joe's intros were filmed in, what, day one, day two? Something like that. I completely forgot they were a part of it. Sorry, Joe. But it wasn't like he was in studio every week. So. Touche. Yeah. Or we could have just chalked it up to we were drunk and... Forgot. We'll go with that. Love you, buddy. We do love you. In fact, you know what? I think next week we're going to give them something special to honor Think So Joe. Oh, yeah? As a little Nick and Dan offering post-mid-season break. Was it that time that we stripped them naked when we kidnapped them? You filmed that? You sick fuck. I didn't film it. Then who filmed it? We had a camera in studio. Man. Weird. Yeah. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Maybe. Probably. Anywho, love you, Joe. But, anyway, Supernatural. Now, I've been a diehard fan since it first started airing. I can remember sitting in my crappy little apartment, you know, watching the channel where everything scrolls by, showing you what's on TV, and I saw the description, you know, two brothers driving around the Midwest, hunting monsters. What could go wrong? I was intrigued. I was maybe a little drunk, too, but I was intrigued, and I was into it, and I was hooked ever since, and... I've actually managed to get most of my friend base hooked into the show, yourself included. Yeah, well, I mean, the wife had some things to do with that, but yes, you're right. That is true. Now, Dan, you know, I know you're not fully caught up on everything. You're within, like, the last couple of seasons, if I remember right. Mm, Yeah, four is a couple, sure. Whatever. I mean, four (laughs) could be a couple. Maybe two is a couple. I don't know. Ask a Mormon. Wow. But... So, what are your thoughts on the show as from what you've seen? Well, i got to be honest with you. Uh, right about the time we fell off watching religiously, storyline was kind of getting a little played out, you know. Understandable. There's only so many times the world can end. And, you know, they can lie to each other or hide something from exactly. each other. Stop lying! Or somebody can die and then they got to fight to bring him back and then the other person dies. It was very wishy-washy. Okay. But for the diehards, I understand that. I was more... In- Kind of, there's this monster. What is the depiction of this monster going to be visually? Gotcha. Is how I kind of got into it. Plus the car and Sam and Dean are kind of awesome playing off each other anyways. Yes. And there's lots of one-liners that you get out of the show. Bitch. (laughs) But, you know, it's, I mean, I've been watching it for now 15 years. and, And, yeah, there have definitely been times where things have waned a little bit. It, you're right. You only do the same thing so many times before you got to spice it up. But I definitely got hooked into it originally just because of the monsters. Mm-hmm. Even the writer Eric Kripke, he had said that he just wanted to do a mini horror movie every week. Yeah. And that's awesome. Um, so I liked that. I liked you know, the mythology behind everything, how some of the episodes yeah. played off of urban legends, like Bloody Mary. Yes. Bloody Mary, that's going to be definitely one of the episodes that always creeps me the fuck out. Yep. Hands down. And I want to say that was early on, too. That was within the first three se- or first season or two, if I remember right. I think it was very early on. So I dug that. You know, then they introduced in the demons and stuff. And that was kind of fun. And there's only one demon that really 
stands out to me. Crowley. Exactly. Yeah. Crowley, King of the Crossroads, eventually King of Hell. He's just, I mean, you're good. He's Crowley. That's he was true. awesome. Mark Shepard, the actor, really brought that character to life. And I think that's what really made a big part of the casting. They, I, could, I can't think of anything that I feel was miscast. There's only one person who I could think that would play Crowley better than the actor that played him. And that's only because I'm a huge fan of the Blacklist is James Spader. That would have been interesting, but I feel like it would have taken him in a very weird direction. I feel like it would have, too, but you it, know, it would have been interesting. I don't know. I mean, we kind of got that in The Office with Robert California. Not an office fan. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was, that was not like a great season. It was near the end, you know, uh, Steve Carell left the show. It wasn't, at, after Steve Carell left, it just wasn't the same. So, but, you know, okay, fair, interesting. I mean, is there anybody else that you, or let's just go into an alternate universe, kind of like how Supernatural's doing for a bit. Alternate universe Supernatural. Run down your list of characters and who you cast them as. I think I'd keep Sam and Dean the same. Okay. So even in a completely different universe, Jensen and Jared are yeah. still helming the front of the ship. Sam and Dean would be the same. Now I'm going to go a little weird on you, because okay. I'm not as familiar with the characters as you are. Okay. But follow me down this rabbit hole, considering you started digging. We're on YouTube. It's all about rabbit holes. Bobby is going to be played by Ron White. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's way out of left field. Yeah. Man, Dark Horse. Yeah. Okay. So a little more drunk and a little more sarcastic. A little more drunk, a little more sarcastic. And uh, Jody, Jerry mm -hmm. Jody, Christina Hendricks. Only because I'm a sucker for big-chested redheads. Which one is Christina Hendricks? A big-chested redhead from the Mad Men. Never watched the that. show. Not a big uh, Mad Men fan. Uh, yeah, it's really about the only thing of note that she's done that would be... All right, I'll have to look her up file. at some point. I'll look her up. Yeah. Okay, so that's an interesting recasting right there. Intriguing. Intriguing. Oh, now I gotta think. Maybe I should have thought about that. I should have planned yeah. before I threw this out there. None of that. No, none of that whatsoever. Actually, I'm sorry. I'll give you a minute to think. The, uh, uh, fuck, what was his name? The guy from the metal, British Metal Letters. Oh, um, Catch. Yes. Pierce Brosnan. Ooh. I guess I could kind of see that. Yeah. I could. I don't know. I don't feel like he's got the cold steel in him like that guy portrayed. How about Daniel Craig? We could stick with the James Bond actors. Oh, I'll tie it back into a previous episode. Ah, right? yeah. See, you like how I did that there? Yeah. Call yeah. that callback in the industry. Ah, yeah. Daniel Craig. All right. All right. <laughs> okay, let's think here. Let me think. So, the characters I might... You know, there's some been some really good castings. We're going to leave Mr. Booger as... It was Metatron. Yeah. You know, yeah. I just because he was glorious. That was, he was just terrific. I really liked how he played that up. Yeah. As the scrub, this dickish scribe of God. <laughs> so much fun. But, oh, recasting. Let me think. <sighs> Mary Winchester. I feel like I would recast her. And not so much just because the, the look or anything, but as we eventually got more and more of her, I don't know. I. It was lost on me. I think part of it might just be because she's a Campbell, and we learned from Grandpa Campbell, they have no problem selling out their own. True. So. Now, just to touch on that, it did okay. kind of seem like she appeared visually younger as the show went on. I mean, yeah, she did the haircut and everything, yes. and it's like, wait a second. Mm -hmm. Although, if you think about it, she really was about the boy's age where they were at when she came back, so. Got me there. And they... Couldn't explain Jeffrey Dean Morgan looking extraordinarily old, older than when he originally passed away when they brought him back. Oh, the dude is just Jeffrey Dean Morgan, and you can't fuck with him. So that's true. I mean, he does have Lucille, does. and you gotta make sure you duck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't want to end up like Glenn. Mm -hmm. No, not at all. Not at all. Um, God, you know, thinking more and more about, it, I don't know who I would put in the place of certain characters. Who would you put in place of Castiel? Misha Collins again. He's just so good. I want to hug him. Misha, if you somehow catch wind of this, I want to hug you. I do. <laughs> my wife does too, who also shares your name. I'm pretty sure my wife would also hug you, and she might not let go. So you know what? We'll keep you guys apart. Yeah. We will. Yeah. But either way, regardless of who we cast or not recast, 
Supernatural 15 year legacy. It's a hell of a run. It is. And if you haven't watched it, you know, it's on Netflix, and I'm pretty sure they're going to have all the episodes up there very shortly. And they seem to be locking stuff down again, so there's really nothing else to do. That's right. Sit down and binge. Binge Supernatural. Join the SPN family. And guys, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. See you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Got it. What do you got? Sam Winchester. Chuck Norris. Roll swap. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boom. See you guys in a few weeks. See ya.